The Price of Freedom is Eternal Vigilance by Thomas Jefferson. Guys, welcome back to the Wilson Brothers channel. I'm Isaac, this is David. We are reacting to one of my heroes today. Patrick Bet David goes by PBD. Check out his podcast, that will be in the description below. He talks about how freedom is worth fighting for. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What is your definition of freedom? Make sure to write in the comments and let's get to the video. Freedom! Freedom! From the words of Mel Gibson. Let's get it. Let's get it. Why do you watch the movie Gladiator and we get fired up when we watch Gladiator? Why do you love that scene? Why do you love the scene when he gets up and he turns around? Show your face, Gladiator. Why do you love that scene? Because deep down inside of you, I don't know what it is. He puts something in us that we want to be leaders amongst leaders, Let's but go. we're scared sometimes. And that's okay. It's okay to be scared at times. But someone's gonna wake your ass up every once in a while. Let's go. I think we're gonna see a movement of some of the most incredible leaders being born during these chaotic times. We're gonna meet leaders where we're gonna sit there and say, where did, where did he come from? Where did she come from? What was this all about? We needed to have a massive crisis for us to wake up and realize what was worth fighting for in both freedom and America is worth fighting for. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Let's freaking oh, go. That pumps me up. Oh, it makes me want to throw a monkey. Let's freaking <laughs> go, bro. I'm so hyped up right <laughs> makes now. Makes me want to throw a monkey. I'm just saying, I've lived most of my life afraid of everything. And what? now I'm not. I haven't been I haven't been that way in a while and it's because I know there's something worth fighting for. Every day I wake up, there's something worth fighting for. What are you fighting for? What did Joe Rogan say on his podcast? Most men leave, live lives of quiet desperation mm -hmm. where they sit in their closets, they don't have the gumption or the ability to listen to men like us. Guys, we used to be there. We understand there what it means years. there. We understand what it means to not want to get out of bed, to not want to be about your purpose, your mission in life. What is your mission in life? What do you care about? What are you striving for? to give yourself that freedom that you're looking for, that your parents instilled in you, that your mentors instilled in you. That's what PBD is saying is he's doing a war cry for the men and women of this generation to stand up and say, if we don't fight for America, if we don't fight for our values, for morality, for ethics, for a moral code, what else do we have? What I, else do we have? Nothing terrifies me more than being completely obsolete in this world. Yeah. Mean, having no lasting influence. I think about it all the time. I was telling my parents and my wife this the other day. Nothing terrifies me more than being 70, 80, or 90 years old and looking back at my life and saying, man, if only I was 30 again, the impact I could have made. Nothing in life terrifies me as much as that. Not dying because I know where I'm going. What terrifies me is not making a difference or actually going after things in this world. So finally, I got off my butt and I said, I'm going to create a YouTube channel because I want to have my voice out there. What are you guys, what are you guys passionate about? Do you want to have a YouTube channel? Is there something that gets you going in the morning, but you don't know how to get, but you don't know what to do, or maybe you just lack the discipline. That's why Welcome to the Wilson Brothers channel. But it's time for us to start to get off our butt and start to make a difference because we can. Most Dian says the freedom is the oxygen of the soul. Ooh. Mahatma Gandhi says, freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. Mm. Guys, we're not saying that ha making mistakes is, is not a part of the hero's journey. Every hero, if you have not made mistakes, if you haven't lost everything, if then you aren't trying hard enough. Or well, you just got lucky. Most of, even if you get lucky, eventually you will fail because yep. every good entrepreneur, every good business owner understands that failure is just one key and one step from greatness. Even Mark Cuban says, as woke as he's been recently, you have a hundred <laughs> decisions in life. You hear no 99 times. That one yes could change your life. But it's about quantity of going past and pushing past the boundaries of what you thought was possible. Go after it. Grind. Get up in the morning. Do something that you weren't used to. There's only a certain part of your brain that will grow as a result of having resistance. If you always do things you're comfortable with, you will never build up the resistance to do the right thing or do the great things. Your brain is only as good as the inner dialogue that you have with yourself. If you never push past pain, if you never get up out of bed and say, I'm gonna do something great with my life, then and you live a life of silent, basically pain or silent torture as a lot of men do in this country, you'll never ever reach the goals that you put out from when you were younger. Most kids, when they were younger, they wanted to be a firefighter. They wanted to be a lawyer. They wanted to be an astronaut, astronaut yeah. go to space. They wanted to do all of these things that were bettering for humanity to help other people. And then society over the course of hundreds of years has tried to reprogram men to not actually go after what they were meant to do when they were younger. 
Oh, I'm just going to do my nine to five. I'm going to clock in. I'm going to clock out. I'm going to live quietly, desperate, hoping that somebody recognizes me on the higher up chain of my of my corporation. Those people don't care about you. They, you're just a number to them. Do something that matters. Go out and, and, and go into your community. Go f- volunteer at a homeless shelter. Go help with sex trafficking to get kids out of these broken places. Find something that gets you up out of bed in the morning that gets you that freedom that Patrick Bed David is talking about. Is it going to be easy? No. You're going to have problems. You're going to have issues. You're going to have setbacks. But that's why you, we're here with you guys. If you feel that way, be honest and vulnerable about it, but move forward. Don't stay in a place of quiet desperation. If you do, then you will live a life of, of, of turmoil and torment. What is that thing that you would do for free? Because I think it was PBD, Joe Rogan. It was one of those guys. I can't remember who said it. He said, how do you find your purpose? It is the thing that makes you want to get up in the morning that you would do for free. But if you get to be paid, if you get to be paid to do it, then it's like your world opens up. So they say, find the thing that you would do for free and become the best at it. If you become the best at what you do for free, then naturally money will be an out. Yeah. Now I'm not talking about just writing chalk on the sidewalk. Like don't do something useless, but find something that can make money that gives, brings life to you. For example, my story, I was actually going to school for to be a computer engineer because it was a safe thing yeah i didn't have to strive i just had to get the credentials and then i know i I knew i could go to a company but then the idea of being there for 30 years and just fixing computers and doing monotonous stuff for me now great is a great career i'm not dogging you but for me i could not envision myself doing that so i went the uncomfortable the uncomfortable route and i went for filmmaking Filmmaking is one of the hardest things to actually get a job in because you always have to start at the bottom. So if you're 40 years old, you move to a different company, you normally have to stop, start at the bottom unless you're one of the best. But now we are taking control of our destiny. Yes. I'm, I'm actually starting to think, what is the thing I would do for free? Yeah. Create content, Top being in front of the camera. I would love to be on podcasts for the rest of my life. That would bring me so much joy. But now I'm working as hard as I can to be some of the best at it. But for you single men out there, what did my wife say on a recent podcast? She said, women are not always looking for the guy that makes the most money. She's looking for a man with drive. The most purpose. So if you are a single man and you've gotten your heart broke, maybe a girl cheated on you and you are just like, man, all my confidence is shook. A woman will be attracted to drive. So focus on yourself, get in the gym, find that thing that you waking up in the morning just makes you want to go and scream like, ah, it's another day because we're warriors. We're not meant to be little lambs on the side that just lets everybody else have all the fun and do all the hard work. We're meant to get into the fire and make a difference. Self-accountability and radical ownership is the biggest form of personal freedom. When you take radical ownership and responsibility for your life and you take accountability that is the biggest form of freedom because you lo- no longer are bound by what people think of you. Yep. You can speak up for what's right. You can you can be a, a speaker of truth. Guys, speak your truth. Be a man of integrity. Go out there and do something that actually adds value to your community. Become an influencer in your local community. You don't have to reach millions of people like you and I eventually will, right? We started small. Nobody knew who we were. What was the value that we could bring to the world? We had to ask those hard questions. What are people going to want to listen to the Wilson brothers? What value do we have to bring to the world? And we realized that we can't just piggyback off what everybody else says. We have to have our own voice and we have to inspire a generation of young men to step up for what they believe in. And that takes time and it takes time for people to trust us. But guys, we're on that journey like everybody else. But we decided not to say no. We decided not to sleep in until 12 in the afternoon. We decided not to drink ourselves to sleep. We had to make hard choices and that requires sacrifice self-discipline and accountability sometimes they're not easy it's never easy we're gonna get it and from the words of braveheart or mel gibson and braveheart freedom freedom (laughs) and from the words of gladiator live a life that echoes into eternity thanks everybody for watching see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe Peace. peace